Michael Holter here. I have a couple of tips for you that can help you when you prepare skies and uh, develop them as part of your paintings. So let's take a quick look at a few methods that we can use. First one I want to talk about is just your basic sky color. What I like to do is I like to use a um, cerulean as my main blue of sky. In this case here, I'm just going to put some blue cerulean across the top. Let that wash come down. Now, if I was doing this wet into wet, it would be the same thing. Now, I'm going to change my color to a little bit of a raw sienna. And I'm going to brush that right into that damp paint that I had above. And what that does is it warms the color of the um, horizon, basically. It gives you a little bit more of the natural effect of the color of, uh, of the sky going from a blue down to the warmth of the horizon. It may look a little bit strong when you first put it on, but trust me, that is a real nice transition, and it's showing the type of... Um, uh, haziness and uh, difference in color that happens when you get down to where the, you're looking through more atmosphere. You're looking through more atmosphere, you're going to see the color differently. So that's something to really be aware of and alert to. Now, that particular sky can also be then adjusted. We can put some clouds into it, and there are different ways to put clouds into the sky. One way um, is taking uh, some pigments as it's still damp, that are a little darker, a little colorful, whatever you want to do, drop those colors in. Let's do a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue with some um, um, neutralized a little bit with some burnt sienna. Now, that can signify a sky. We could also add some color. We could put other colors in. Let's put a little violet on there just for fun. What happens if you throw some violet into that? So that becomes a sky that can work very well to make a painting kind of interesting. Now, it's not a real detailed kind of sky, but it is a um, particularly um, colorful one, and it's kind of subtle, gives you some interesting things. So when you put your foreground in here, depending on the colors you use and what you're trying to do, you create a very nice sky for that scene.